Hey everybody and welcome to Matthew's Film Room. Today we're going to be breaking down Kenyon Green, 6'4", 324, All-American guard slash tackle for Texas A&M University. This is my first video, so just bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to do the best I can. Uh, I will be doing more film breakdowns. I'll try to, I want to try to pump two to three out a week, um, but bear with me like I said. Uh, I'm really going to be focusing mainly on the offensive line and defensive line of the 2022 NFL Draft. It would just be very hard for me to try to break down someone like a safety or a corner just because of the fact that you can't really see them in in this view right here. And it's very hard to, to get access to all 22 film. And if you don't know what all 22 film is, it's basically just uh, coaches film. So without further ado, just go ahead, get you some popcorn, get you a quick snack, maybe a drink or two, sit back, relax, and watch me break down Kenyon Green. To start, here's Kenyon Green right here at this left guard position. As we go ahead and play the play, you can see he gets his head placement right on the right side, or the left side, uh, to create this reach block, gets his block, flips his hips, and it's over. Creases the running back for easy 10 yards before contact. Here's Kenyon again right here at the left guard position. Goes up to the second level. Makes a good block on the linebacker. Here we go again. Gets to the linebacker. Mm, I mean, he might have got away with a little bit of a hold there. But anyways, good block right there. Again, another springed play about 10 yards. Here's Kenyon right here at left guard again. Here we go. Good initial step. Gets good hat placement right here. Nice hook. Here's your crease right here. But as you notice, the center comes to double team, and it kind of drives the momentum here to the left. Now Kenyon, being very experienced, keeps his feet chopping and just keeps to if keeps driving him this way. If he wants to go this way, we can both go this way. The back makes a nice cut. I mean, look at this hole. I mean, if your running back's not hitting this hole, then you got to get a new running back. That's an absolutely fantastic job by Kenyon right there. All right, we're at a different game right here. Here's Kenyon. He's still the left guard right here. Um, this one's going to be a little bit harder to see, but we got good first contact with his defensive tackle. They're double teaming. He feels his tackle coming onto this block, and he gets to the second level. It's exactly what you want to do. Here's Kenyon right here at the left guard position still. And uh, we've watched a bunch of running plays, just him going straight forward. But the question is, is can he pull? And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this. He can pull. Watch him right here. Kick out number eight. Just a good pull right there. Good way to stay tight. The, the main reason you want to stay tight to your line right here so this guy right here doesn't get underneath. Because if number eight comes underneath, Kenyon right here, he can blow up the whole play. He'll come underneath right here, take Kenyon out, and then take the second puller out. And then you just got your back with two free free linebackers. But Kenyon getting tight against the line, coming in. Good contact right there, driving him out. I know the back still didn't get many yards, but that's, that's what you want to see. Here we are again with a new game. Kenyon's right here at right guard. Just going to have a one, mono e mono just one-on-one, -on -one, no help. Kenyon's just going to keep going, keep driving, keep driving. I mean, here's the line of scrimmage where they start. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half. Five and a half yards past the line of scrimmage. That's exactly what you want out of your offensive lineman. Somebody that's going to take their defender and move them five yards. Phenomenal right there. And here we are, Kenyon is now the left tackle. So let's count this out. He's played left guard, he's played right guard, and he's played left tackle. Just in these four games that I watched personally. Here we go. Here's Kenyon, like I said, at left tackle. And then we've seen a lot of Kenyon run blocking, but can he pass block? Let's just take a look. Good kick and slide. Good feet work. Hands in the center of his chest right where you want them. Wide base. He's just going to sit down with them. Perfect pass block right there. Let's watch it again, full speed. Love that. Love that. 
And I think just this this very next play, here we go again, another pass block. I mean, just look at that. Dude, smaller than him, yeah, granted, but, I mean, he's going to have some speed trying to come off the edge, and Kenyon, obviously, can kick slide and pass protect with the best of them. Here's Kenyon again at left tackle, and uh, one thing that resonates with me is effort. I just want to, I just want you to watch this. Watch Kenyon, top of your screen. Still going. Still blocking him. Still playing. Now let's count this out. Let's count out how long he was engaged with the defender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight seconds. Your, your left tackle is blocking somebody for eight seconds. I mean, that's all you can ask for. That is literally all you can ask for is someone giving this much effort in this big of a game. And some of you may be thinking, Matthew, all you've shown are good plays. He's only had good plays. So you're telling me this is the best player in the draft? No, everyone has good and bad plays. Just going to start off with the things he can do well. I'm just going to show you up front what you're going to get from Kenyon. And here's some things he does need to work on. He's right here at left guard. It's going to be a pass play. Slide. And as you can see here, he's almost kind of lunging out there to block him instead of letting, instead of staying straight straight up, square, and forcing the blow with his hands. He's kind of trying to reach out. You can see his back kind of arched right here, trying to go get him, and he just gets swimmed over the top. There we go again, full speed. Just something you can't do, can't be lunging. This one right here, I'm not going to say it's a bad play by Kenyon, but I feel like he could have done things better. Here we go. He, the defender does win the battle by getting Kenyon's hands off of him and trying to come outside, but Kenyon being so agile and having good feet, he's still right there with him. But right in here, right when his defender's starting to like slip or come down, I, I feel like Kenyon should anchor down just like just like what 61's doing right here, or 58, just, just taking his big feet and just anchoring down and giving up ground slowly. He gave up ground just a little too quick right here for my liking. Someone in the NFL could definitely, you know, be a lot quicker than this, a lot more powerful than this uh, nose tackle from LSU. And, uh, yeah, i just not a big fan of him giving up that much ground that quick. Here's Kenyon again, another pass play, ironically. And right there, he's – I think he's just leaning – I don't know what it is. I think he's just trying to engage in the block too quick, and the defenders are just swiping his hands, and him leaning forward it just puts him out of position. I mean, if 18 wasn't unblocked, and and if the quarterback doesn't scramble here, 99's gonna get down, get back there in a hurry, and cause even more pressure. Kenyon is at right guard right here for this play. Um, on my notes, I have. Not about making a hit, but to block him. We can watch it right here. See how he's just... It looks like he's just trying to hit him. Like he's not using his hands. If he uses his hands and drives, and not just trying to hit him as hard as he can, he's not going to spin off like that and make the tackle. If he just slows down right at the point of contact right here, I mean, this is going to be a good initial blow. I mean, for not, I mean, look at this, look at this hole right here with your fullback or tight end or whoever this is coming up to, to lead block. If he can just get his hands and drive right at that point right there, then then this is a successful play. But since he's over there trying to hit him, not trying to get his hands on him, 55 is going to be making the play. And here's the last play I got for you guys. Kenyon's right here at left guard. Um Good initial step. He gets there, but like just like that last play, you just you gotta finish. Gotta finish the block. It's not about all it's not always about making the hit on the defender. And granted, I know that you know this this linebacker trains every day to get linemen off of him. But if you're Kenyon and you have them this close to you, I mean, there's no excuse. You have to finish that block. 
So my overall thoughts about Kenyon Green is I, I like him at tackle. I thought he had a good game against Alabama at tackle, um, but I love him at guard. If I were to rank him at each position, I'd probably have him number three to five in the tackle category this year. Um, and I th- Personally, I have him number one at guard. So I think if your team drafts Kenyon right here, I think he's the best guard in this draft. Um, the versatility he has, he played left guard, right guard, left tackle. I believe he played right tackle as well. I just did not watch that game. I did not break down that game. And um, so, like I said, yeah, versatility, that's a big plus. I have him as a mid to mid first round, uh, late first round to, I mean, if he slips early, early second round, I think if you get him in the second round, you'd be completely, completely uh, stealing him. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get a couple videos out a week. Um, between Evan Neal, the left tackle from Alabama, and Aiden Hutchinson from Michigan uh, next. So uh, if you guys want to see either of those first, let me know in the comments, and have a great day.